today we are driving to the development to go check out the progress on our house and we're going to see if they have all the drywall up and take some measurements of our house just because the drywall hasn't added thickness to the studs that we've seen before. So I'm really excited to see that and hopefully they've made good progress. We got our McDonald's breakfast in us today and <laughs> we're ready to go. The drywall is all up and it's looking beautiful. There's so much natural light and I love it so much. Let me give you guys a tour of our space. So starting the tour up on the third floor, this is the main bathroom and then our master bedroom with the ensuite to the left and our big walk-in shower. Wow, it's our house. This is our living room area where we're gonna have like our TV and couch and all that good stuff. This is our little powder room and then our kitchen and dining area. And then this is going to be my boyfriend's office, a coat closet, and a cute little laundry room. And then we just went around the house and took some rough measurements just so we can get a better idea of a space. I totally already made a SketchUp model in Google SketchUp to envision the space better as soon as we bought the house. So this just gives some more accurate measurements so we can do some furniture shopping. So today we are going to go check out some quartz countertop options. There's a certain area in the GTA that's known for having a bunch of different stores that carries a lot of things you'd want to use in a home renovation like quartz countertops and tiles and lighting. We're gonna go to that area of the city today and check out a bunch of the different vendors and try and narrow down our options. We're looking for a pure white marble look quartz. So with the quartz product, it's man-made stone. So what that means is they take natural stone, but they grind it up into little bits, sort of like a sand consistency sort of idea. They use a bunch of different combinations of resins to create a certain pattern. So unlike like natural stone like granite you have a lot more consistency with the pattern in going with a quartz stone it also has a lot more benefits as well quartz countertops are a lot less susceptible to staining as well as they have a higher heat resistance so they're less likely to burn if you put a hot pot on top of it it's less likely to leave a mark but it's always good practice to use a little pot holder just to be extra careful with all your countertops anyways you want to take good care of them we're on our way to go look at some options and hopefully i can get some footage for you guys of some of the slabs that we're looking at The other one has a grain too. Why do you talk about grain? Come, I'll show you. Just see? I think this is the one we might end up going with. Either this one or another one over there. That looks really good. This one has more of a crisp point to it. Can you pull down your mask a little bit so I can see the sweat on your upper lip? <laughs> it's boiling. It's like 40 degrees Celsius out today. Yeah. Do you like this one? We looked at so many different quartz options today. It's crazy. I think that we've really narrowed it down to two different options. They gave us samples. Once the kitchen's actually installed in the new house, we're gonna go and take the little samples and put them with our cabinets because we're keeping the cabinets that the builder built for us. We did upgrade those and we're good with those being them, but we want to make sure everything is going to match perfect. So the last place we went to, they were super nice and we actually like those two quotes quite a lot. So these were the two options. They're actually really similar. You might not be able to tell on camera. So we liked the veining on one of them a little bit more than the other. Like the other one is still really good, so it's definitely a strong contender. The one good thing about this one is it's a pure crisp white. This one is white, but it has 
almost like a granular texture to it that we weren't super keen on. It is quite visible, sort of leaning toward this one a little bit more. And this is, if anyone's interested, it is Q6100 from K-Stone. Backup contender is the V8500. Narrowed down our selection, which is good news. Got this out of the way, and <laughs> that way, when we come to closing day, we know what we can do, we know what we want, and we can just call the fabricator, have them measure out the place, and we're good to go. Ready for me? Yeah. Rolling into the Tim Hortons drive-through. <laughs> medium ice cap, and can I get one medium ice cap made with chocolate milk? And one medium ice cap made with chocolate milk? Yeah, that's it. I didn't even have to tell him my order. He just knows. Which way we have you? Spritz, give me a spritz. 99.9% alcohol. Is it? Yeah. That's why it smells so potent. I, I try not to like give it a whiff anymore. They're using a different type of alcohol because they ran out of isopropyl alcohol. No, this is like, this is like straight up alcohol. Like ethyl alcohol that you use in like Tequila? Like labs and shit. Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> 80%. Is that, I guess, it says hand sanitizer on the bottle. I mean, I shouldn't spray this on myself because, you know, I might just spontaneously combust. Hot, hot commodity. You already you know? hot enough. Visiting our construction site now for our house. She's looking cute. That's the color of our brick. I like it a lot. We have a nice gray stone. Ooh. The smooth ceilings look so good compared to like the popcorn ceiling. They look really good. I'm excited! They just installed these nice black railings, and then we have a really deep front part there where we can do some gardening. And it's pretty high up. Can't wait to get drunk on this front porch. There's gonna be a ton of wine consumed yeah. on this front porch. Oh, yeah. Some rose. I really like these black railings as opposed to like white or cream. Flag pole right here. <laughs> a big can of the flag. <laughs> so when I roll down the street, I know which one's mine. No. I'm just gonna come home one day. It's gonna be there already. 